Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, I really, really appreciate it when you watch these things, and I hope that they're informative. I'm sure I make mistakes all along the way, uh, but more importantly, hoping you'll learn something from this, because when you find a car like I'm getting ready to show you, this is a pretty cool piece, and I'm smiling a lot because I looked at this car and go, wow, this is a car that I couldn't afford in the 80s. You know, as a, uh, I was going up during that time, the, the late 70s and early 80s, nobody in high school really had one. If you had one, like you were a super rich person, and I didn't, I had a beater Volkswagen. But this car here is absolutely like riding back in the day all over again. I want you to look at the paint, but it's beautifully restored. I love the color combination of it. And uh, it's uh, a little later in the day that we typically do videos is why I'm going blind right now, but we're gonna do our best to show you the stuff that you like and see some detail. And more importantly, uh, get this car to you as quickly as possible so you can learn about it. And if you can make a decision quickly, I think you're gonna be pretty impressed by uh, how wonderful it really is. So come on up, let's talk about dust blue paint. This right here, uh, this car's been completely repainted and you can, it's evidenced by how much uh, the quality is of the paint here. That's not typical GM paint because this paint is really, uh, really, really nice. And the metallic in it is just enough. These wheels for me are absolutely timeless. I wouldn't change these wheels for anything. I love these wheels with this car. This car is really styled well too, so come up here for a second. A lot of people don't know that these cars had four-wheel disc brakes. A lot of people don't know they had uh, a fully independent suspension, so the rear end is independent as well. And so you get a great ride, you get great handling, and believe it or not, even though it was a 350 uh, and didn't have a lot of horsepower shout out, they're still really fast cars, so you'll be quite impressed on how it rolls around. So some of the styling of these cars as we approach the end of them, you know, 82 is the last year of it, so these 80s vintage cars have really started to go up in value a lot, especially since they're so comfortable and offer you a lot of modern amenities that you might not get in uh, some of the even more previous cars. So for instance, like uh, removable T-tops on the car. These ones happen to have uh, the glass ones and they look great on the car. They're tinted, so you can uh, ride around them and not roast the top of your head with all my hair falling out. I don't like to ride without the tinted T-top in because, quite honestly, any more of this falls out, it looks like Michael Bolton's pillow, and you don't want that. You don't want that, all right? Let's keep rolling, okay? This piece right here, this is what changes it for me for a lot of the 70s vintage Corvettes that have the same body styling. This right here is a piece that so many people add to those earlier cars because it looks so good. It really finishes the whole car, but it's also effective, too. These cars are high speed, and this right here pushes the rear end down on the ground. When I fire it up, you're gonna say, wow, that thing sounds way better than stock. Well, the reason it sounds way better than stock is because there's a much nicer exhaust system on it and has some great components as well. There's no mistaking the back of this car, come on back here, for a Vega. That right there is a Corvette. Those are four round tail lights. That right there, I could take the emblem off of that car and everybody would know exactly what this car is. And that's what makes a great styling statement when everybody knows what they know, all right? So I've rambled on about that. How about uh, we look under the hood because it's probably one of the most impressive parts of the car because it's so beautifully detailed, all right? Let's go check that out. All right, come on up here because I wanna spend a minute here because this is the part of the car, if you wanna to take to a car show, will make a difference. So come on up here and see some of what I'm talking about, all right? So for instance, I'm gonna have Colin come around here, all right? For instance, the original emissions decal is still here. Smog pumps in place, all right? The decals are all like, look at the wiring on this car. It's either all new wiring or this car is original 57,000 miles. I think everything in the car is new, down to the vacuum pods and modules, the brakes are done. Uh, but again, it's, it's completely stock. It's got the Ram Air here, and it's also got the carburetor preheater hose right in place like it's supposed to. And you say, well, what is the big deal about a carburetor preheater hose? I'll tell you exactly what that is. Nobody puts that on anymore. They just don't. This right here is an extra step, and the reason why it's an important that's an extra step is because whoever restored the car, all right, obviously the person we got it from, I shouldn't say whoever, the person we got it from and when they restored the car put every effort in to make it as authentic as possible, down to even the, to some of these tower clamps that are still on the car, all right? It's just not modified with the big chrome engine dress-up package. Not that we couldn't put that on for you. We want to be, make sure that, that you know that we can address anything. You want a custom set of wheels and tires? We do that. You want chrome under the hood? We do that. But right now, I'm presenting you the car, bone stock like it rolled off the showroom floor circa 1980. All right? So that's the detail I wanted you to see in here. The wipers are hidden under the cowl like they're supposed to, a styling treatment. A lot of people didn't know about that when they got rid of. This used to be a vacuum-operated door, right? I mean, they got rid of that because it was mechanical and it was problematic. What they did was they just changed the look of the hood. And boom, no wipers to be seen. And one of the things I also want to show you is how much storage is back here. Not only can you stack the T-tops back here, 
but then you can put lots of soft luggage and things like that and take this car for a weekend getaway. This is why I'm showing you this car, because this is a cool piece of history. Keep in mind, these cars continue to go up in value. That's why this hobby is so great. You say, well, Tone, how do you know these cars are going up in value? Well, I know this car and what we're asking for right now, what they're selling for on the market versus what it was new, clearly says that it's going up in value. So one of the reasons it is going up in value is because as we get older, we like the uh, luxury features and we like things like uh, tilt steering column. We like things like telescopic steering wheel. We like power windows, which this car has. We like power locks, which this car has. Dual mirrors, right? This has an 80s vintage sound system in it, right? We can change that and put uh, either the original stock style radio in there and put a modern uh, uh, you know, digital sound there, or we can just change that out and put a digital sound in there so you can put your iPod, uh, take a phone call, stream music, whatever it is you want to do. But full gauges, everywhere there is a tachometer, speedometer, fuel, oil, volts, water, okay? Uh, and just, just a cool car. And when you talk about an Oyster interior with the blue exterior, uh, it's exactly the right color combination. All right, so how about I fire it up for you and say, well, the 80 Corvette, how, how much performance can it have? It has plenty. All right, so let's close this up real quick and run down the list. I might have to read a little bit because there's a lot of things about this. 80 Corvette, beautifully restored. We all agree with that. Great color combination, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video and looking at these pictures, all right? But loaded with stuff like power windows, power locks, uh, air conditioning, uh, tilt steering, uh, a telescopic steering column. This got the Jim and Kana, uh, suspension on it as well, so not only does the car make good power going down the road, it handles really well, and it's a car designed to take away for a weekend, man. Take this thing out and go. Put the T-tops in the back, put some high-speed gel in your hair, man hit the road and roll on out. You can't have more fun for less money than right now. All right, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 80 Corvette.